Hi everyone, I just got back from the flea market and it's hot outside and it's part indoor and part outdoor. So at least you could go in and cool off for a little bit. And I went to some vendors inside and then I'd go outside and hit some and then come back in. So I was doing this back and forth thing, but I found some great pieces and I just want to turn the camera around and show you some of the pieces I found. I'm excited about these. So look at all the goodies I found at the flea market. Wow. I got a lot of necklaces and it just happened that there was a lot of necklaces available this time. I think I'm just going to go through these and pick out just certain ones because this could take forever, this video. I'm going to start with this lovely Monet piece. I did pay $10 for it, but w look at how great this is. I believe it's Lucite. Look at the frosted pieces and the transparent ones combined. It is such a nice piece. It has this nice heavy-duty clasp on it and a Monet hang tag. And I just adore that one. We have this lovely, I need to back out here, give you a better view. This one is a tortoise shell cameo glass. See how the light comes through it and has the stripes, the brown and the black. And it is a pendant and a necklace or a brooch. And it's not uh, West Germany or anything like that or Whiting and Davis. It's just um, a no, it's not branded. This one was a uh, Germany, West Germany one, but it's real lightweight. I just thought it was really interesting with the knots. Nice glass piece. Here's a Japan piece. This is so bright colored. These are acrylic and the blue is glass, so I thought I'd pick it up kind of a neat Japan one. I don't pick up all the Japan ones anymore, but I do pick up some. Here we have a Goldette. This one I debated about. I'm going to bring it over here if I can. I debated about it because it really does have a lot of color loss, and it's still such a great piece. This does slide has these little tassel ends. They almost look like beehives at the end. And again, the color is faded so much. It says patent pending on the back there and goldette on the clasp. But really cool piece. I got some long gold chains. This one is a Monet, or no, it's a Trafari, and I think, I believe this is a Napier, so there's a lot of chunky gold ones. They were more popular like this past year, but I'm still selling them, so I still pick them up. This was a fun one. It's more of a choker. It's no name brand. Check this one out. Here's another cool Lucite one. You can hear how it just, how it sounds. That kind of tells you it's Lucite. And look at the seams on it. That is going to tell you, it's probably just acrylic. I don't know that Lucite would have seams. Nice hook clasp. It kind of looks handmade, but how fun is that one? Let me see. And I got a cool Carol Lee like a pocket watch pendant it's on a chunky chain isn't that neat nice shiny back it's in good shape i picked up several abalone butterfly brooches or just brooches this one's from mexico alpaca it's not alpaca is not silver it's not real silver but look at this gorgeous round rhinestone one has a kind of a dome shape in the middle. It is not signed, but I believe I would probably sell this one for, I'll put it up for $39.99. Here we have a blister pendant. Does not have the chain, but couldn't resist getting this. I think blister 
pearls are so cool. This is mother of pearl. This one is a rich loo. Rich -a loo. You can see it here. It's upside down. It says rich -a loo. It's a nice, it's kind of lightweight pearl. This was a fun charm bracelet with chunky dangles. And this one's pretty too. This has a nice rosette design. Layers. Back over here we have carnelian. How do I know it's carnelian? If you look closely, you'll see it's got something different than you would see in glass. It's kind of got little frosted specks inside of it and it's cold to the touch. It has this orangish red color. It's pretty common and I haven't tested it yet but I can pretty much guarantee that that is carnelian. We have a nice glass beaded necklace and matching bracelet. This one was also fun. It has a bar link chain and kind of a filigree silver tone medallion. I don't know if you want to call that a medallion. It's long and narrow. Medallions are usually round, but it's really nice pendant with looks like a hematite dangle. Hematite's got that high gloss kind of grayish tone to it, and this is different in the center. Maybe a, maybe onyx. Here's a really pretty older, probably 1940s necklace. You can tell if they're older, a lot of times they're short, like a 15 inch. 14 to 16 inch usually. 16 inch is a choker so this one does not have a name on it. It's not named on the back. It is linked so it kind of dangles. Here's what it looks like on the back. I would say a company like Coral probably made something like this. They did have unsigned pieces that they did sell to other companies. Their sales reps went everywhere. Over here I have a cool Chatelaine type brooch. It's like the lion head on it. Isn't this one pretty? This is a 1928 brooch. You can tell by how the back is stamped, how the metal is stamped with the scroll design. They're never marked. They're, they, well, I shouldn't say that. They're marked on a hang tag a lot of times, but a lot of times you don't see a mark. This is a fun one. This is just plastic and it's a necklace. I would almost call this fruit salad even though there's no fruit pieces on here. But it reminds me so much of fruit salad. There's a lovely coral one. You can tell coral by looking at these little specks on the ends. You can tell it's natural. And the hair comes with it for free. And here's another little piece. If you look closely, you see the little, like it was, where it was cut off the branch. So these are little chips off of a branch. And this one, this one I have to look up, see if I can find anything like it. It, it is angel skin coral. It's got an old barrel clasp on it. And you see the different colorations in the pink. It's just like shell slivers. I don't know what else, what to call them. But I haven't seen one like this before. I've seen them in round balls. And a lot of times the, the round ones tend to go for high money. Um, I've sold one before for a couple hundred. Um, maybe around 250 it seems like. This is just a, a newer one, but it's got some cool looking stone beads on it. This one's fun too. It's just satin. I call this satin gold or matte gold. 
Look at all the links, how it's put together, the construction. It does have a hoop and a spring ring clasp, or a lobster clasp on the end. And we have a couple other ones, a copper one with the sun design on it, sun face. And that last one, I believe, is onyx. And what's this? This is a cool one. These are stone. They're cold. Glass is cold, too, so you kind of have to test it. I use an app called Rock Identifier. If I know it's a stone and I don't know quite what it is, I'll put it, I'll take a picture of it and put it on Rock Identifier. And look at the glass lamp work bead here. Isn't that wonderful? That's an artisan made piece. That is so gorgeous. So that's a really nice piece. Here's a fun one, this bracelet. It's a stretch bracelet. It's real tight. Like, it pulls apart. I can't do it with this hand because I have arthritis in this hand. But see how it pulls apart? That's how you get it on. It doesn't have a clasp. It just It's like a stretch one with enamel design. Here's another one that's open work. Got this lovely bird design on it that's kind of why i picked it up i don't pick up these too much anymore these hinged ones they used to sell good but not so much anymore it's just a clamper oh look at these these are trafari they're bigger than your typical japan cluster earrings they're probably, the Japan ones are usually about one inch. These are about one inch, eight, one and an eighth inch. I'll spit it out. Let's sign Trafari on the clasp. But look at the sparkle. And this is glass. You can feel the weight to it. Nice piece. This is a gorgeous sparkly brooch. Nice design. And this one. Look at that. Love the lamp work. Isn't that fun? It's a fun one. And the, the chain has some station beads on it. And I believe it's marked. Let me look at the clasp. <coughs> okay, it, it, it is marked. Premier Designs. There's a little oval cartouche, and on the other side, which I can't get it to flip over, it has the PD with the crown design on it. That is Premier Designs. All right, I think that's it on this box. Let's move down to this one. I'm not sure about this one. It was only $2, but I thought it was so interesting. 1914, we took a little trip. Maltese Cross, it's got an old chain on it. A lot of people love the Maltese Crosses, so I thought I would give it a chance. This one I picked up, I when I first seen it, I thought Monet. What do you think it is? Flip it over, it is Monet. It's just a di distinct look that they had that makes it stand out as Monet. They used a lot of the pearls. And I would probably sell this for, I'd probably list it at $28.99, $29.99. This one, I, if it wasn't, if it didn't have a name, I wouldn't normally pick it up. But this just has so much weight to it. It's a heavy beaded necklace i'm wondering if these are glass they feel like it but it's really heavy and it's just full it's so full and i bought a bunch of gold chains different makers some bracelets some necklaces and this one's just a nice glass beaded one i love the square glass beads and this one's really full it's the top all these shells i just I don't know. I'm attracted to these. I probably don't sell them fast enough, and I shouldn't probably buy them. 
but I'll probably mark it at $25. I just love the colors. It's so much fun and bright. Here's another glass beaded one, and it had a different pendant hanging on it. It was a heart that was a glass swirl, but the heart had a chip on the end, so I took it off and I added this, this stone. It's so cool, and it matches the green beads on the necklace, so I thought that would work. And this is another fun one. This is glass. These are almost like little heart shapes. Like tortoise shell looking. Isn't that great? It's a longer necklace. Oh. This one's fun. It's just an older, this is gold stone. And all of these necklaces, I'd probably list in the 25 to 30 dollar range majority of these here's another one this one's got multi layers like three layers that's a fun one here's some rose quartz this one's got some distinct little accent beads which i thought gave it gave it some character and i, I believe these are stone because they feel really cold and another just simple vintage piece so that's the extent of these three boxes and we're going to move on to a couple more no this piece does not open it's just for looks like it's a little perfume little trinket box or something it has a lobster claw clasp on it it's not signed it's got a real pretty gold chain on it. That's a really nice piece. If it had a name other than Gruen, it might be worth a little more. Look at this lovely cameo, clear, transparent. Let's see if it's signed. This looks like a Whiting and Davis. Let me see if it is on the other end. It is. It's always on these long oval tags. Whiting and Davis. The chain needs a really good cleanup. It's got some tarnish on it, but it's a great, pe great pendant. This next one, I wouldn't, uh, I would not have picked this one up if I didn't see a name on it, and I believe it's Monet. Yes. See Monet in the center? Looks like it needs some some yellow cleaned off of it. But a nice medallion pendant necklace. We have some other pieces too. Here's another RLM bracelet, a cuff bracelet. Real nice, done. Needs good polishing. This one's gorgeous too. But the cameo is cracked. Look at that piece. Coral made one like this. I just listed for go in gold. I wonder if this is a coral. And we have a couple other pieces. This is this one. I think is really cool. It, it really is kind of a faded gold tone. Like it has some wear to it, but it's just so pretty. And this one is a real pretty classic glass. You kind of hear. How the glass sounds with the hook clasp on it really pretty would go with anything this one is an interesting very vintage like probably 1940s I would say isn't that cool it's got a hook clasp on the end and a little extender and your typical black beaded glass this one I believe is a collar necklace it's newer but I still think it's cool and I think somebody will like it. And this one needs some work. These are glass beads. You see the little accent beads with little green squiggle marks. But if you go up to the top, look at that verdigris. How would I clean that off? Since there's no pearls on this one I would probably just stick this in 
um, vinegar, just the ends I would stick in vinegar for a while and then take a toothbrush and try to brush it off and in between the links you can see it. I'm not going to keep it with my other jewelry until I get it all cleaned off and the white you can easily put this in dish water soap dish soap water and hopefully that'll get it clean you can use a q-tip with vinegar on it and try to clean the ends off but I think that's going to be a little bit harder I might just put vinegar on a toothbrush and rub it off and it is going to be brown underneath because there is quite a bit of tarnish on this um, it's going to be behind the neck in the end so you probably won't see much of that anyway and then we have a mother of pearl necklace that's mother of pearl it has a barrel clasp and we have another um, three layered beaded necklace with, sorry about my fingernail being in the picture here, Japan on it. It is acrylic, it feels like. It's got some AB crystals on it. And then here I was shocked. I was totally shocked she had this one. She was prices were very minimal. This is a Givenchy, Givenchy, some people pronounce it in America. See the double letters there and let's flip it over. Same on the other side. But it is marked somewhere else. Hang on. It's marked right here on the end next to the clasp. See the Givenchy mark? This is a great piece. I will probably sell this. Um, I can't hardly put a price on it yet till I comp it. I'm thinking right now around the $100 mark. Maybe more, maybe less. We will see. But that's the extent of my necklaces. I actually do have two more bags full, but this video is getting way too long. And I'm going to do a quick summary of what I got so far and how much I paid per piece. And we'll go from there. All right. So in the end, I got 143 pieces for $323. So that came out to $2.26 each. I had a great day. It hasn't been that low in a long time, so I'm really excited about my finds this weekend, and I hope you enjoyed the video. But if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments, and we'll try to answer all the questions. And I hope you have a great day. Please like and subscribe, and see you on the next one.